Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to install the CircuitPython stubs and use them with PyCharm for code completion suggestions. There are multiple ways that you can install the stubs. I'll show you two different ways and you can use whichever you are more comfortable with. You can see what we have loaded up here is a simple blink script. It would turn an LED on and then back off again over and over. Notice how PyCharm is indicating that there are unresolved references for the imports of board and digital I.O. and the submodules which are coming from digital I.O. Installing the CircuitPython stubs will allow PyCharm to recognize these modules that are built into CircuitPython. Then the editor will be able to make code completion suggestions based on the information from inside of the stubs. The first way that you can install the stubs is using a ter terminal and the command line tool pip. If you're not comfortable with terminal commands, don't worry, I'll show you a more visual way to do it next. So if you open up a terminal, you can use the terminal inside of PyCharm, of course, if you like, but I'm going to use this one because it's got some nice big text. The command that you will want to run is pip3 install circuitpython stubs, and then press enter. It will take it just a second, and as long as you see this message right here, successfully installed circuitpython stubs, then you will know that it has succeeded. So if we go back to PyCharm, what we will notice is that these modules now no longer have red underlines on them, which tells us that PyCharm actually is able to know what they are. We can now do things like control click to go inside of them and see uh, what functions they have and what arguments they take and all sorts of things like that. Uh, PyCharm will also offer up code completion with these now. So if we hadn't coded this part yet, and we just typed a dot right here, you can see that we would get suggestions that include input and output. If we were writing our input code, if our import code, if we had not done this yet, uh, you can see as soon as we start typing the name of the submodule here, we get suggestions for which one we might want to import. And this works for all of the built-in CircuitPython modules. So this script is very basic. It's just blinking an LED with digital I.O. But the same thing applies, uh, for instance, to analog I.O or any other uh, built-in module to CircuitPython. So you can see there, we can type from analog I.O. or any other built-in module, space import, and then you can press control space, and it will give you a list of all the sub-modules that are inside of that built-in module. Okay, so if you uh, want to use the CircuitPython stubs, but you're not comfortable with uh, terminal commands, there is another way that you can install this. So what I'm gonna do is uninstall it now, just using the same way pip3 uninstall CircuitPython stubs. I will push yes to the prompt, and we can see there that it was successfully uninstalled. We go back to PyCharm and wait for it to index the packages again. We'll see these are now back to being unresolved references. So uh, to use um, a more visual way to install the CircuitPython stubs, you can actually use the settings within PyCharm itself. You can go to File Settings right here or press Control alt s On the left-hand side over here, you want to open up the Project um, Foldout option right here, and you want to click on Python Interpreter. Now, this is going to show you the current Python interpreter that your PyCharm project is using, and it's going to list all of the different libraries that are currently installed within that interpreter. You can push this plus button over here, uh, and now we are able to install new modules. This is basically a list of all the modules that are deployed on PyPy, and we can use the search box at the top to find the one we're looking for. So in our case, we want CircuitPython stubs. We search it up there, we find it in the list, and then we just click on install package right here, type in our password, and once it is completed, it will indicate uh, the package CircuitPython stubs was installed successfully. Then we can go ahead and close settings, and now we see again that these references are understood. They do not have the red underlines on them, and the PyCharm editor is now ready to give code completion suggestions based on those stubs. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.